Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Monica Juma is currently in a closed door meeting with the Defense and Foreign Relations Parliamentary Committee to discuss the Kenya-Somalia maritime border dispute. The CS is giving updates on issues surrounding the dispute and what this means for the country. NTV's Mel Miendo is in Parliament. Mel, what have you gathered? Thank you so much, Edmund. Yes, we are in Parliament and that meeting is ongoing. The Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Monica Juma is currently uh, with the Defence and Foreign Relations Parliamentary Committee. So we were in there as members of the media, but were asked to step out, of course, with regards to the sensitivity of the issue. They are speaking about the Kenya-Somalia maritime border dispute. And so perhaps right after that meeting, we will be having a media briefing. The Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary has been speaking to the media. She was actually in a meeting early um, last week or just about Monday to Tuesday there about and she was speaking with the Media Editors Guild. So this is something that, of course, has elicited a lot of national interest. And so people want to understand what is going on. What we do know right now, Edmund, is that it has become a court case. And this issue will be taken in September 2019 to the International Court of Justice at The Hague in the United Kingdom. And so that is Kenya, Kenya versus Somalia uh, with regards to the border dispute. Now, one of the issues that we are expecting to hear uh, from the Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary is just what this will mean for Kenya. There are fears that if Somalia has its way, then it is possible that Kenya will become a landlocked country. And so there are issues surrounding that that many people are asking. And of course, from that meeting, we want to understand and get to hear that briefing uh, from the Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary. Another issue, Edmund, is that why why did Somalia have to go to court? This is a question that has been there that we heard um, is, is a question that was at the committee and they wanted to get these answers. Why did Somalia have to go to court? There has been a memorandum of understanding between Kenya and Somalia. Perhaps that would have been the first uh, method that they would have used with regards to just getting uh, this dispute out of the way. There's also the fact that both Kenya and Somalia are members of the international intergovernmental authority on, de on development. That's EGAD and African Union. So there are all these other methods that could have been used to cater for just getting sure that this dispute is taken care of, but they had to go to court. So we'll be going to the ICJ on, in September. That is actually something that has been confirmed. And so these are cases, these are issues that we'll be uh, trying to get more information on. We have been told that there will be a media briefing, Edmond. We don't know just quite what time that will be because they're still in that meeting, but we'll definitely keep you posted.